we continue our study today on taking back what the enemy has stolen from us, focus with me on an important story we find in 1 Samuel, the 30th chapter. David and his men came to the town of Ziklag. They found that the Amalekites had invaded and taken their wives and their children and everything they had captive. It was a horrible situation. Even David's men lifted up their voices, the Bible says, and wept until they had no more power to weep. You know, David, the Bible says, became greatly distressed, particularly when his men spoke of stoning him. But David was a man after God's heart, and he knew where his strength must come from. In verse 6, David says, He strengthened himself in the Lord his God. So if Satan has stolen something that belongs to you, I encourage you to follow David's example. Find new strength in the presence of the Lord your God today. David's next step was to inquire of the Lord. When you're facing a spiritual attack, nothing is more important than seeking God's strategy for a counterattack. Notice, David wasn't passive when he was attacked by the enemy, nor was he, in, nor was he content to, to wallow in defeat or allow the enemy to keep what was his. After David prayed, he got his bearings. He got his focus. He knew what he had to do. He immediately went on the offensive and prepared his counterattack against the enemy. David's warfare was so successful that we learn in verses 18 and 19 that he recovered everything that had been stolen. Listen to the words. So David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away, and David rescued his wives, and nothing of theirs was lacking, either small or great, sons or daughters, spoil or anything which had been taken away from them. David recovered all. Friend, this should be your vision as well today, recovering all that the enemy has stolen. Instead of accepting defeat, it's time for you to go on the offensive. So I ask you, has the devil stolen something from your life? Your health, your marriage, your children, your job, your finances, your vision, your peace of mind? If so, take a moment. Commit that area of your life to the Lord. Ask Him to give you His perspective and His strategies for overcoming the enemy's attacks and then take Him at His word that He will reverse your losses and bless you beyond your wildest dreams as you go on the offensive and use the spiritual weapons God's given you to recover and take back everything that the enemy has stolen from you. Well, this series concludes tomorrow, and I encourage you to browse through our website, find some great spiritual resources that will help you keeping your life on the path towards growth and victory. God bless you.